In the Health Center tonight, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission is instating new federal safety requirements for infant sleep products, things like inclined and bed sleepers and some of those small bassinets. It comes after specific products were linked to dozens of infant deaths. And News Nation correspondent Nancy Liu is live for us in California tonight with more on what these new requirements are. Nancy. And Marnie, while most of the products covered by this new federal rule have already been recalled, similar items are still available in baby stores. In short, there was a loophole that allowed many infant sleep products to hit the market that have since proven to be dangerous and deadly. New father Ludovic Sedita is still adapting to losing sleep since welcoming baby Gabrielle just two weeks ago three, four times per night, every two and a half hour, more or less. It's why products marketed to get babies to sleep are so popular. Sadita says they do have an inclined sleeper at home, similar to those recalled and linked to the new CPSC rule. I was more afraid that it turns on the, on the side, but not, not because of the ad, because it's enough um, like this. I mean, it's not too much like that. Too much of an incline has proven deadly, with the suffocation of dozens of babies. The CPSC is urging all parents of babies under five months old to stop using incline sleepers and in-bed sleep boxes immediately. There have been massive recalls in recent years, but similar products are still out there. We're giving a year for manufacturers to adapt their products or redesign their products, or if they're going to make a product for next year, they now know they're going to have to meet the safety standard in the middle of next year. These sleep products were unregulated because they did not fall into other federal categories. The new rule will limit any incline to 10 degrees, 20 below the millions of units recalled. They position babies at an incline of about 30 degrees, and this enables a baby's head to fall forward, and the baby doesn't have the neck control or the muscle strength to often, when, when sleeping, pick up his or her head. and allowed the airway room to breathe. It was a Consumer Reports investigation that revealed the dangers and linked the products to over 100 deaths. It's really tempting to, you know, go for a product that offers you relief from this, you know, sleep deprivation that you're suffering from. But these products are not the answer. It is just not worth it to take a chance on one of these products, even if you think it will save you and give you a little bit of sleep. The best thing to do is to keep the baby on the back, flat surface, nothing else around. No covers, bumpers, no plush toys. That's the best way for the safety of your child. And the CPSC says the secondary market remains a significant problem. Parents are urged not to buy or list inclined sleepers, and many manufacturers continue to offer refunds or vouchers. Marnie and Rob. Mm, Nancy, thank you. I remember doing all that research with Jen mm -hmm. before, you know, getting ready for baby Gabe and, right. and reading about, no, don't get that. Just like she said, flat on the back, back on the little sleep. activity mat with nothing. Right. And as, as nice and plush and cute as it all seems, mm -hmm. baby doesn't need any of it. We're doing that for ourselves, exactly. right? So that we, we think it looks, looks good. Don't need it. But then I, show, I saw old baby pictures of me that my parents sent me. Rules have changed because I'm looking yes. at well, my crib. Yeah, they were wearing seatbelts. Blanket, <laughs> stuffed animals, scissors, yeah. knives. They're like, rules were different then. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah so it, it was a uh, whole thing. Your mom's on the phone, Rob. Yeah. She's not giving I'm joking nice. about the scissors <laughs> before I get grounded. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>